To live without philosophizing is in truth the same as keeping the eyes closed without attempting to open them. Truths will be discovered by an individual rather than a whole people. The first precept was never to accept a thing as true until I knew it as such without a single doubt. We do not describe the world we see. We see the world we can describe. Because reason is the only thing that makes us men and distinguishes us from the beasts, I would prefer to believe that it exists in its entirety in each of us. There is nothing more ancient than the truth. When it is not in our power to follow what is true, we ought to follow what is most probable. An optimist might see a light where there is none, but why must the pessimist always run to blow it out? By God, I understand a substance which is infinite, independent, supremely intelligent, supremely powerful. The reading of all good books is like conversation with the finest men of past centuries. When I was examining what I was, I realized that I could pretend that I had no body, but I could not pretend in the same way that I did not exist. If you would be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt, as far as possible, all things. We never understand a thing so well and make it our own as when we have discovered it for ourselves. Divide each difficulty into as many parts as is feasible and necessary to resolve it. The greatest minds are capable of the greatest vices as well as of the greatest virtues. Doubt everything. Conquer yourself rather than the world. I am accustomed to sleep and in my dreams to imagine the same things that lunatics imagine when awake. But possibly I am something more than I suppose myself to be. To know what people really think, pay attention to what they do rather than what they say. Except in our own thoughts, there's nothing absolutely in our power. I am indeed amazed when I consider how weak my mind is and how prone to error. It is not good enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. Whenever anyone has offended me, I try to raise my soul so high that the offense cannot reach it. I think, therefore I am. I suppose, therefore, that all things I see are illusions. I believe that nothing has ever existed of everything my lying memory tells me. I think I have no senses. I believe that body, shape, extension, motion, location are functions. What is there then that can be taken as true? Perhaps only this one thing that nothing at all is certain. Doubt is the origin of wisdom. Common sense is the most widely shared commodity in the world, for every man is convinced that he is well supplied with it. I desire to live in peace and to continue the life I have begun 
under the motto, to live well, you must live unseen. Mask, I advance. It is only prudent never to place complete confidence in that by which we have even once been deceived. You just keep pushing. You just keep pushing. I made every mistake that could be made, but I just kept pushing. In order to improve the mind, we ought less to learn than to contemplate. For I found myself embarrassed with so many doubts and errors that it seemed to me that the effort to instruct myself had no effect other than the increasing discovery of my own ignorance. He who hid well, lived well. Each problem that I have solved became a rule which served afterwards to solve other problems. At last, I will devote myself sincerely and without reservation to the general demolition of my opinions. With me, everything turns into mathematics. Let whoever can do so deceive me, he will never bring it about that I am nothing, so long as I continue to think I am something. The reading of all good books is indeed like a conversation with the noblest men of past centuries who were the authors of them, nay, a carefully studied conversation in which they reveal to us none but the best of their thoughts. So blind is the curiosity by which mortals are possessed that they often conduct their minds along unexplored routes, having no reason to hope for success, but merely being willing to risk the experiment of finding whether the truth they seek lies there. It is best not to go on for great quest for truth it will only make you miserable. But what then am I? A thing that thinks? What is that? A thing that doubts, understand, affirms, denies, wills, refuses, and that also imagines and senses? Whatever I have up till now accepted as most true and assured that I'd gotten either from my senses or through the senses. But from time to time, I have found that the senses deceive, and it is prudent never to trust completely those who have deceived us even once. Which quote did resonate with you the most? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't miss a chance to watch the next video. Subscribe.